Rogue in the Void by Yuval. And uh, normally the game's moving. In fact, if I just click, it shows that the game's moving. But uh, I have it paused because I clicked off screen. Hey guys, Game Hunter here. And we're looking at another seven day roguelike challenge game from 2013. Pardon me. Okay. Now that that burps out of the way, we can actually take a look at this game. So, um, okay, so arrow keys do a thing. Oh, whoa. Great. Spacebar? Oh. There we go. X, or Z, sorry, Z that's doing this. And AC, I just got my AC, I don't know, perhaps. Maybe by standing in it I get AC? I don't, air conditioning? It is what it is, and that's, oh. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was, you know what, this bottom left corner is, is what's telling me what's going on. That's That's what I'm supposed to be looking at here. And that's what the S key does. I don't know. But I got something, and it certainly did something else. So, Nevertheless, the Z is my blaster, and it appears to... As it appears on the Z right there. So that's that's what's super-duper amazing, incredible going on. And yeah, I have nothing for A. I like the walk. Just a little doop a doop a doop a doop Okay. Need to get moving, killing, and killing time. What are you? A at? I don't know. How did I get it before? G? Oh, W. Of course! Duh. Was it even W? I don't I'm gonna have to check that out again. Whew, okay, good. So we're getting experience on floor zero. We always start on zero. What are you even talking about? E? E. E to get. That, that's what that is. And, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. You know, I, I kind of like this weapon, although it doesn't shoot very far, but, um, sure, let's try this one instead. So this is a double shot. I guess the triple shot was better. But now I know that, and I didn't know it before. Get away from me. Thank you. There's, well, okay, there is a point in, uh, yeah, we're not going to. I prefer this weapon. That guy is glitching out all over the place. And we leveled up. Which means something. I don't actually know what experience is actually providing me at this point in the time of playing video games. Video games? Was that what we're doing? I couldn't even tell. Alright, so this game has what it has, and it's doing itself pretty darn well. Uh, okay, so I do have a maximum HP. I wasn't sure, I just wanted to make sure. You gotta test it. Okay, and you do have to kill everything. Oh, why did I do that? The 2Z is a little better than that, so. Exclamation point! What's going on here? And let's see if we can sneak our way just bare. Oh man, it's gonna be like pixel perfect. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I can't get through there. That would just be the bees knees I don't I don't really like what did I just do I guess I just use whatever I did oh man really I can't I can't get through there okay well let's go ahead and tr try again as the screen decidedly blacks out for that part of it okay no that's cool I mean I didn't get that far in the first place so whatever and besides now I've proven that it's totally it's totally doing what it's doing with the uh, with the video game standard of E, man. <laughs> Super question marks? So many question marks. I guess we'll at least try to use them. See what they do. That one didn't appear to have a use. So we'll get it and then we'll try it as we're near an enemy. I think that's what I'm going to try to do at least. Wait until I'm near an enemy. So, this is a better shot? Hmm. It's green. Oh, that's a super fast shot. I kind of like this one. Even if it's not quite the same as the, as the spread shot. It hits so very far. And that's its total and equal use. Alright, so I have a potion to use, but... That... Oh, great. That, that actually hurt me. And that heals me. So... That is the cost of showmanship. Oh, this is a 
appears to be a pretty boring level. It's a onesie level. And that's really it. And then we just move on. Wait, what? What did I do? How did how did I die? And why did I Oh. So there are so there's traps. I mean I kinda saw that one. I'll be I'll be honest, I did see it. That's why I was curious enough to just step in into it. But I didn't think it was gonna be death like that. Death by flying saucer. Death by oh yeah, okay, so for instance, this is this is one of them. It might be hard to see. Here, I'll just point to it. It is that. There's some dots. I mean you can see them. They're easy enough to spot once you're looking for them, but uh Oh man, these guys are rough too. Okie dokie. And maybe, huh, because this level scheme actually looks pretty similar. So maybe what, what they have is just a set of maps you just pick from randomly. Uh, we do have to kill everybody though. That is important. If we don't kill everybody, we're not allowed to go to the next level. But this one didn't have any boxes, and that wasn't any fun. Not fun at all. Not fun at all. Uh, I think that's the poison potion, if I recall from my scriptures correctly. Oh, you know what? Leveling up, I think that gives max HP. If I was, because I started with yeah, okay, and you actually get a full, so that's cool. Well, that one sucks. That one's completely invisible, but I guess it's better than what I have already. So, oh yeah, man, these enemies are weird because they get fast as they approach you. Ugh. Oh, yes. Oh, ah, did, you saw that, didn't you? Man, those traps are just evil. And also, yeah, it's starting to look like it's ever so similar as you approach. As you approach the game, which is unfortunate. I mean, the randomness certainly is with the items and the enemies, but it's a little too random, and the fact that we have to do the same map means that we still got to explore most of it. And there's all that going on. So this can be a rapid fire shot if you really spam it. Hooah! Yeah, look at that. But I don't really want to kill my hand, so. That one hurts. And that one hurts. And actually, I think this one's worse. Maybe not, maybe not. Die, thank you. Um, so yeah, once again, we have another top-down shooter, and that's the way the game is working. Uh, this one, I mean, it has generally stuff that you know about, so that's cool. But I need to fo focus on avoiding traps, too. All right, good. I leveled up. Level up, skis. But the fact that you, I missed that one. Darn it. Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll try once more. And... Oh, great. That one just flat out kills... Almost kills you. Flat out almost kills you. Straight up almost. <sighs> yeah, I want to survive with that weapon. Yay, that one heals me. I don't know. I'm not even sure what that one did. Did it do anything? On the next Trials of Error, we'll find out. These guys aren't so tough, but you do have to approach them tightly. Okay, well, anyway, so yeah, that's the game. I mean, I'm not sure there's much else to see here. It's, well, you get different maps, I guess, which is better than getting the same map every time, but, oh, whatever, it's it's still cool. I mean, you gotta give it cr right. Wait, what? That was a teleport trap, huh? Yep. Can I get around it? Okay, yes, I can, cool. And I finally got another armor. I wasn't getting armors before, and now I finally got an armor. And we got the double sh- oh! Oh, that was a little close. That was a lot close. But now we're now we're kind of alive. And now we're making those progresses. Uh, this weapon isn't quite as good. Well, okay, it deals damage. But I, I did like the triple shot better. I think that one was actually, actually shot. Ah, okay, barely made it past that. Just barely. But, well, that's that's the game. You guys, oh, tra traps, man, traps. So many traps. I'm not even going to worry about that box. I just I don't want to run all over the place just to get to that box again. 
the box is not worth it. I don't even know what that did. I mean, do these always do some kind of healing potion, whatever? Are they either a heal or hurt sort of deal? Is that what I'm learning? Ooh, th okay, this is the this is the good shot. This is the good shot. I don't know about you. I don't know if those are good damages or anything. It seems like I take less damage because I only lost half an HP there. But I don't really know what the... Oh, crap. Is this... Uh, let's see if we can actually squeeze through this time. Hey, okay. Oh, that hurts a lot. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's squeezable through. And... Oh, teleport trap. And I died. But it looks like I actually ended up in the same level-ish area. Because I was only on level 2 or so. I don't know. Anyway, this has been Game Hunter. Playing through Rogue in the Void. And it was pretty fun. And I think some of the mechanics are there. But maybe... Well, I guess work on the collision a bit. Because it's a little tricksy. And you have to be very careful with how you move and stuff. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. Um, it could use more content, maybe. Um, and a little more pizzazz. The white and black is not quite enough for backgrounds. But other than that, it's, it's nice. Anyway... Uh, yes, join me next time when we take a look at another game from the 7-Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. Until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.